going over the midday results, we want to take a look at the stock index portfolio. Very challenging. Uh, we had some trades go against us early and very, very big drawdowns early on. And we are now, uh, the portfolio is now net short. AC Cobra 3 taking the best trades on the day, but still some big losses. I want to show you first how to trade these limit moves because I think it's important. If you're in a position like Cobra 3, even ESP, um, it's short at 27.94.75. Now these have such tight stop losses and so many reversals. This could reverse and get stopped out as well. Uh, but one thing to take a look at, you know, you're supposed to hold this trade to the end of the day, but the next limit move is 13%. So what is that number, and how would you exit? I would place a limit order right at the 13% level, and there is uh, the CME group holds this, and the S&P futures. For uh, for e mini S and P right here S and P futures S P H zero the first limit move was twenty seven nine twenty seven fifty nine uh, the second limit move is twenty five eighty one fifty that's thirteen thirteen percent I don't know that we'll get that far uh, down we could though we could really hit some uh, fast selling we're coming into twenty seven fifty which is a Kind of a, a solid support number sometimes, so we'll see how that how that plays out. Uh, twenty seven or twenty three seventy three fifty would be the twenty percent move. That would be really extreme. Um, I don't know what the future holds today. I don't know what's going on. Uh, these are some extreme uh, ranges in price action and crude oil and bonds. And but one thing to, to one one thing I would recommend is to uh, you know you could. Put your limit order at 25.82 on the S&P, and then we want to find the E-mini Nasdaq, and I'm going to scroll down here and find that for you. So they have a search bar at the top. That's helpful. So the E-mini Nasdaq futures. We want to go to uh, March of 2000, which is right here, and you see 74.11. It's currently at. Uh, 8037 so that's quite a bit of a move 680 6, 68 13 75 is a 20% move so uh, something to consider if the market were to sell off that far uh, it goes a little bit down you can't execute and um, so it could bounce after that or go into the close but one thing you can do is put your limit order at 24 uh, 74 12 or 74 15 and let's double check I want to make sure we get it on the ES because we were looking at the big S&P contract ES and so this doesn't say this it doesn't say mini. Let's see. It says micro, micro, and we don't see wait, we don't see the e mini S P. But I'm just using for reference. I'm using the S P futures, and then you see 258150. So you could put it at 2582, 2583. Don't know how fast the market will be when it gets there. If it were to get there, I don't anticipate that. Um, I mean, you have to anticipate it as a trader. So. Um, this is what I'm looking at. This is here is the link for that. It's a CME group trading price limits, and it posts each day what the maximum limits are and how you could trade that, uh, how you can get set up to uh, so you don't get limit down and stuck in a position, and then the market decide to close on you. So here are the setups. We're short Cobra three, uh, ES and NQ, and you also adaptive moving average is, is minus 275. It had a choppy day, so short on three. Future contract futures contracts right now after a very challenging morning, uh, to say the least. 60-minute uh, breakout. We were long over the weekend. Very discouraging to see uh, this kind of trade on Friday. Uh, we had some short trades that got stopped out, and then we reversed along, and then the gap down overnight uh, stopped us out. And some of those executions didn't work because of a bug that I've seen. Uh, that I don't un quite understand yet. Stop losses should be turned into market orders. So really challenging trading day so far. Uh, we're at high, higher volatility levels than we've ever been. And so I want to let you know how you could potentially trade. Uh, Tick Pulse just got short here. It's been stopped out earlier as well. Uh, 27.50 minus 27.50 on the 60-minute uh, breakout if you exited right at the open, um, which was hard to do. And then um, what other trades? Uh, mirror e mini S&P stopped the first time I've seen a double limit down move you can't really see it on this chart but limit down overnight and limit down here and there was a limit down here uh, you see the market paused it was 8 836 and then it paused and you don't see any more dots but there was a 14 minute break in between here and this was stopped out again at the open of that bar so double limit down move 
at the open have never seen that have never seen the average daily dollar ranges that we're experiencing right now here's the stock index portfolio um, tick pulse NQ got short again so if this thing rolls over it could be a profitable day on the short side um, AT2020 stopped out at the open 60 minute breakout this one got stopped out once again QS3 stopped out on this uh, weird limit set up at the open uh, and it's just really tricky to trade this type of market environment with limit moves at the open so uh, tick count trend in Q minus 1345 one of the things you can do when you see a market that's doing things it's never done before is take a break and wait till it returns to normal levels and I'm going to be looking at some uh, potential adjustments um, these are extreme these are within the tolerance these drawdowns are within the tolerance of the what we've seen before for the stock index portfolio let's look at um, I want to take a look at the daily dollar ranges. So here are the daily dollar ranges. You see 27. Uh, you see this sums up the point the point value of the high minus the low for each of these markets and sums them up. 18, 126, 50, 126.25 is the current value. Um, and we have to go all the way back to the financial crisis to see this. That number is 18,017.50. Was the high point? That was that was well into the sell-off though. The highs were up here, and that didn't happen until October of 2008, where the high was um, a, a year earlier. So a year into the sell-off, um, most much of the exasperation came right in here in this time period, and that's when it hit that. So we're at higher point values now, and so um, uh, much higher, much higher daily dollar ranges. So we might need bigger stops. We need, might need to trade these a little differently. Uh, to make that adjustment, we are within the tolerances of our drawdowns in the stock index portfolio. Also, let's look at percentage daily ranges. 2.9% is the range based on a percentage of closing value. We uh, have seen that in December 2018. That's normal. Uh, we were at higher point values now, slightly higher now. It's coming back down. And then uh, we've been at that level in 2008. That was at 7.7%. So imagine if we go to 7.7%. We'll multiply our uh, price differences by three and our dollar ranges by three, and these some of these stop losses will just be, you know, one tick or two ticks away. It would seem, you know, just a blip on the radar screen. So markets, uh, it's hard to tell what they're going to do. Um, this much selling, the buy the, the dip buyers have probably uh, been hurt pretty badly at this point, and there could be some margin calls in crude oil. Coronavirus. Coronavirus was the news, and now we have this big move in crude oil overnight. I saw crude oil down. It was down 30%. It's down 21% now. But to see crude oil in the 20s was, was kind of surreal. It's like, what market is this? And to see crude oil down here at 27.34, very interesting. And so um, you see 27.50 S&P hit that 27.52, tried to bounce a little bit. But, um, you know, you don't know what kind of margin selling is in the market coming up now here on Monday. But if you don't know what to do, uh, I would just wait until volatility went down. Uh, you, could, uh, you could do well in this market or you could get burned pretty bad. So make sure you have the emotional and financial capital and your technology is set up correctly so you don't crash. And manage your risks. Uh, make sure your stop losses are in place. And infinity strategies, strategies that hold trades at the end of the day are one way, one thing I like, this Cobra 3 strategy, 81.27.25, it had a high of 81.54. It almost got stopped out. So that's a little blip on the screen. And you, we might need some bigger stop losses going forward if this is the new volatility. But you see um, Cobra 3, yes, and NQ are short. Adaptive moving average is short and went to the break-even point. And tick pulse is short now. And tick pulse NQ is short now. So the potential to catch up if we... Uh, make a limit move is there, and once again, uh, go to this link each day to find the limit moves and uh, consider putting your, your profit targets just in front of those limit down moves so that you don't get locked in and, and holding a position when the market is closed.